And are these flags just on a grid? The flags are. The pink ones are a grid, and the orange ones mark uh, possible features that we're going to oh, okay. investigate further. So we've essentially taken all the topsoil off, um, exposed what we call the subsoil, which is the yellow-brown color, mm -hmm. and at that point we can really see the features start to pop out. Um, and they're all flagged now. They're, you know, they're tentatively features, and we're going to cut them all in half and, and view them in profile and Got make it. determinations on what they are. Very cool. Yep. Now is this is this area here, are you are you just moving on to it or you've been here a while? Um or is that you, we've been here a while. Okay. So this this block is everything that we've done so far this summer. Um, and right now we're at the point where we are we're pausing and we're gonna start excavating the features and then I think we're gonna move to the western part of the site. So we're doing it in, in two stages. Part of that is to sort of see what we're getting into. Um, and also if we remove the topsoil everywhere, we really wouldn't have any place to stand or put our equipment. So once we excavate this and we, we're done with this section, we can walk all over it and whatnot. Why is that square? That square was one of our um, excavation units from the phase two survey last summer. So it's already been excavated and backfilled. So we, we're ignoring it. And to be no, the most efficient is, on. what's that? That's something you can put your stuff on? It is, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah we, we just decided to leave it there instead of removing the soil. We're trying to be as efficient as possible.